I wish you a pleasant viewing. Years ago, I paid models to drop stink bombs in a high-end nightclub every weekend until it shut down. Years ago, I was beaten up by bouncers in a nightclub. They literally dragged me from my feet. The reason they did this is still unknown to me, but according to the owner who I met the next day, it was a mistake, I was wearing the same shirt color as someone who was violent with another party goer. The owner was this arrogant douchebag that acted like he was better than everyone else, with his slick clothes and gelled hair, all he did was tell me this stuff happens and for me to get a life and go home. He said something like pussies like you should get roughed up a little it builds character. My ID and credit card was still in this nightclub when I went to speak to the owner, and to my surprise, they gave it back with an unpaid tab from that night they beat me up. I laughed, and told them that they kicked me out and beat me up and I wasn't going to pay a tab. They remained arrogant and smug, they knew there was nothing I could really I agreed, and the police came. We all went through CCTV of the night before, and the police agreed I was having a peaceful evening until I got attacked by the bouncers. They asked me pay the bill, and to file a police report that I could then use to press charges if I wanted to. I didn't have the money or time to press charges. What would I have gained? So, I found a way to get payback. I went on Craigslist, and found a group of young attractive female models. The type of girls that always get into nightclubs. They were super nice, and laughed at the whole situation but eventually agreed to help me. I purchased boxes of stink bombs, that come in a sort of small glass container that needs to be cracked. Once they are cracked, they produce the most horrendous smell that lasts a really really long time. It is disgusting. I told them to wear long skirts and drop the stink bombs through the pockets, and other people will eventually step on them. The important thing was to do it in all corners of the nightclub, it wasn't that big of a club either. The first night I did this, I eagerly waited in a little bar that faces the restaurant. After about an hour of waiting, I didn't notice anything odd. Nobody started walking out in disgust yet, so I texted one of my model friends and she said 5 minutes. About 15 minutes later, I couldn't believe what I saw. It was total despair. Every customer left the club, all the women were screaming at how horrible it smelled, the management had no idea what to do, it was epic. I stayed, and watched. People left, some people were waiting to see if the smell got better, a bunch of waiters went to buy air fresheners to try and make it smell better, but nothing worked. They eventually closed early, and all the customers left. Customers started complaining that they paid money to be there and they needed to fix their plumbing. I couldn't believe my eyes, my plan worked. I was treated so horribly. My body ached from being beaten and dragged, and the smug face of the owner boiled my blood. This gave me so much pleasure. But, I wasn't done. I hated that guy, and those people who pick on the little guy. So I went again the week after, both Friday and Saturday. And again, for one month. I started hiring different girls so that they would not be suspicious, and every time with no fail, people would run out in disgust and despair. I loved it so much. I sat in a cute little outdoor bar where I was treated well, with a perfect view every time. I'd bring friends and we'd watch it live and have a belly laugh every time whilst sipping on our cocktails. Eventually, the word got out. It was the smelly club. It stopped being cool, and nobody wanted to go there anymore. Can you believe it? The business went from a booming success to the place nobody wanted to go to in just one month. It was brutal, and it eventually shut down. I will never forget the laughs and enjoyment I had from doing this. Sometimes. I feel bad for the waiters who had to endure the smell then lose their jobs, but the thought of that fucking owner having no idea what hit him, and who, is one of my guiltiest pleasures. And club owner, if you're reading this fuck you.